Hello, Dr. Yuan. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for starting this event that uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, in, um, in processing uh, the answer, and not just accepting answer that's, uh, that's a newspaper uh, or a writer in a newspaper put their opinion that supposed to be uh, the, the true facts, right? So, anyway, um, looking at the situation, um, I'm just talking about the situation. How many people is with us now? Um, you can wait a few minutes. 20. Okay. So, um, Perhaps uh, we didn't get the word out, and um, well, let's say about Facebook, when we make announcement or put an ad in Facebook, if our ad sounds different, uh, well, we claim that we could sell things when other people can, or not even saying that other people can, they will not, uh, you know, uh, post our ad, uh, they will take it down, so... And uh that's too bad. So they want everyone to <clears throat> to claim or have no claim or, or they do claim but uh <clears throat> they have solution and there's no solution. <clears throat> okay, um pardon me for coughing. Um so Mary and I have an experience, uh, you know, in the Middle East uh, that we kind of uh, pinpoint is the women that kind of set the rules. And they set the rule for dressing um, properly, uh, you know, to the, to the, actually the Western expectation of women covering themselves up, right? So... So, I mean, women have a lot to say in the Middle East because they are mothers of these men, right? They are older sisters of these men. So they're so used to listening to women that, you know, they have this internal respect for them, which is strong only when the Western thinking comes in and um, and kind of uh, mess that up to some certain extent, right? So... And uh, it, it's a shame, right? So, um, okay, we're about 40 people so far now. And um, we could speak about uh, China and uh, the article written about China say China is the enemy. You know, it's like, okay, it's written by a Chinese person at that. And, uh, or at least sound like a Chinese, uh, you know. China didn't have any internal um, uh, agents to uh, incite the uh, what was going on in the U.S., you know. Uh, so, you don't want to blame China for everything, right? So, um, there should be no blame. So, and um, I'm not backing up China because I'm Chinese myself, but, uh, but let's uh, set things straight, right? So, so Taiwan and, and China, that conflict is actually generated by Western nations, right? So uh, actually uh, uh, Great Britain more so than the U.S., but then, of course, the U.S. follows suit on that, right? So in Great Britain, uh, with their once mighty Navy, you know, they, they go and, you know, that's why they, they make Hong Kong a colony of, of theirs, and um back in the late nineties he gave it back to the um um to China and and actually in closed doors they would tell the Chinese, you know, we don't have to give it give it back to you, right? Because we we got the mighty navy at that time China didn't have a navy at all, right? So um and that's how things uh you know Diplomacy in the world, right? So, 
you got the warship and the airplane, well, you the leader, whatever you say is right, everything else, other people say, uh, you know, uh, it's not right, right? It's just like the Falcon Island with Argentina or Great Britain, right? So, anyway, um, any, um, any concern, uh, about what's going on? I mean, they try to isolate China, you know, what they have to do. I mean, China only wanted, you know, to sell to customers, right? China is not going to bomb the customers if, if they're going to, you know, do business with, with people in the West, especially in the U.S. or Bay, you know. So, if you have customers, um, you're not going to sell to your customer and then you stab them in the back or kill them, right? So, <laughs> you have no customers. So, anyway, um, so they want to contain China with Korea. And actually, Korea, North and, and South Korea, now who, who generated that, right? So the Western nation, especially the U.S., you know, divided North and Korea and South Korea, right? The Korean then divide themselves, right? So anyway, so like, you know, people, especially uh, in charge uh, of the government or politicians, uh, they know not only they know best, but they know everything, right? Everything they do is right, right? So anyway, uh, any comments uh, about that um, and with the problems um, that we have to uh, resolve without asking them to resolve it, right? Hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta que hacer acerca el doctor Iber estaba hablando de la situación mundial de China, de las dos Coreas, de Oriente Medio y ha dicho que son las personas a cargo de los gobiernos occidentales las que han provocado todo eso. ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta acerca de esto y puede escribir en el chat? Anybody has any requests about that? You can write on the chat, please. Okay, so other nations uh, in that region they don't have the ship that um, that China have now the last 10 years, right? Before that, China don't even have a ship or a warship or a battleship or even uh, jet fighters that uh, that make any difference in that region, right? So by saying that uh, China is bullying uh, them, they just want the U.S. to um, donate warships or or give them more modern equipment and uh in donation, right? Not selling to them. So all right, do we have uh anyone that uh wanna say something? State a problem? Yes, we have one person that uh oh but she's asking a different thing. Uh she's asking how how you perceive the future of the Latin American countries. How do I perceive it? Uh, uh, that That is, well, you know, that's not a question. I mean, you could change it. Uh, what if you perceive, um, you could change uh, the future. And uh, so that's, it's a question about Latin America, right? Even though we, we want to get into Asia, but that's okay. Now, is that a question about Latin America, a unification among themselves, or... Or, or get along with each other, they do more or less get along with each other, right? So they're not having army invading uh, the neighboring uh, countries. No, they don't do that. Claudia? Sí, Mariam. Sí, el doctor Yuve pregunta, ¿qué tipo de petición tienes tú acerca de los países de Latinoamérica? ¿Que se lleven mejor entre ellos o, o qué? No, que, que, que puedan eh, transformar su realidad, digamos, económica. Eh, ese, ese tipo de futuro, o sea, si, si es posible, okay. si okay. 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 uh, Bueno, él ha dicho que no se trata de percibir, sino de cambiar a lo que. Sí, tú... sí, sí, lo, lo, lo... gracias. Uh, she would like to improve the future, uh, the financial future. Well, you know, she perceived as a problem with the economy of. of Latin America or South America, right? I mean, yes. you have to be seeing the problem. You know, it's not what you want to see. Uh -huh. um, the problem or the question is about the economy, right? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. So same thing with、um, with China. You know, China we're not going to invade Korea or Vietnam or even Taiwan. Right. So Taiwan, of course. Well, I get to that.、Uh, why that's what's going on in Taiwan and China and or Japan? You know, it's really the U.S.、Um, want to isolate China with these countries,、uh, make them,、uh, you know, on a defensive. Okay, so all right. So there's a question about the economy of the Latin America, right? So now there's really not the leading. Problem. The leading problem is diplomacy. Okay, like、um, they, they have difference in communication with each other. It's almost like you know, even though they speak Spanish, you know, among themselves,、uh, they, they're not communicating, right? So,、um, especially the government or or, or the、uh, people in charge of the government or par-、uh, politicians, that you have to make them even. Among themselves, otherwise they'd be arguing and, and generate the problem. Okay, there's no problem, but when you argue about it, you you generate the problem and then intensify the problem with more conference,、um, you know, among themselves and think that they come together, they resolve、uh, their differences. Okay, in fact,、um, they actually、uh, generate more. Hostile differences among them that wasn't even there. Okay, now, now going back to the economy, the question now does this person still have a question about the future economy of of South America? Sigue teniendo la misma pregunta acerca de Latinoamérica? No, no. It changed, right? It's different. So you could. Ex- You could translate it. She doesn't know what I said, right? No. In my form of English, that you know, <laughs> you might know, right? So it's just like some people、um, speak English in India. Well, I don't, I don't get it, or Philippines, right? So <laughs> they speak English, but、uh, I said, "Well, say that again, right?" Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So、um, I'm just saying that.、Um, The reason why China is any question about why China has a conflict with with Taiwan? Anyone with a question about that? Alguien tiene pregunta acerca de por qué China tiene conflicto con Taiwan? Digan en el chat sí, si lo tiene. Anybody has that question? Well, if not, I would answer it myself, right? So actually, I I do have it. Yeah. I mean, you personally. Yes. Okay. I mean, China would rather have、um, Taiwan as customer, and Taiwan would rather have China as the customer. Okay, and that's what it was going on. But if if they we we、uh, I mean they unite as customers. And、uh, and share technology with each other is like,、um, you know, people in the USA would say, you know, they steal、uh, from each other, right?、Uh, they steal the technology from each other. But you know, in this day and age, you don't have to steal it because you have to pay the spy to steal the technology. You just buy the technology in open market, okay? All right. So when does these politicians know that, right? Or the government know that? What the people in the USA, right?、Um, if USA、uh, try to get something from another nation underhanded, then it's not spying, right? So anyway, so let's、uh, let's level the、uh, the acceptance or, or the playing field. Okay, now. See the reason why China still have some kind of hostility toward Taiwan is because Taiwan or the Chinese that went to Taiwan, they took all the money or wealth from the mainland、uh, with them. Okay, and, and they were the Chinese elite, well, in terms of money, and、um, and left the Chinese on the mainland.、Uh, 
you know, with, with no resource whatsoever and, um, and no, uh, you know, there was nothing supporting uh, the China. Of course, when there's no support from the outside uh, for China, China would just act like, you know, they want to be independent and don't want to be bothered, okay? So that's, that's how the Communist Party came about, okay, now. So let's uh, resolve the hostility. Um, the hostility is actually, um, uh, in the Taiwan needs more so than, than, uh, Chinese on mainland, because the Chinese in the mainland, they just want to survive. But the, uh, the, the Chinese in, in Taiwan, they want to go back and recapture the mainland, right? So, <laughs> and, um, and just by the sheer numbers of people, to, you know, against the Taiwanese that, uh, that have most of the, uh, wealth, you know, the, the mainland Taiwanese, okay? Not the Taiwanese in Taiwan because they didn't have any money either, right? So, um, so let's, uh, well, let's process that. I, I just, uh, and that's a million, uh, conflicts that are affecting, uh, the Taiwanese Chinese a trillion times, okay, now. Now, how's the, uh, how's the connection with, uh, with the possible conflicts in, in, uh, in that region? Good, it's like they, they really, they don't have any problem between each other, right? What was that? It's like they don't really have problems between each other. Well, they have underneath problems. Now they really have no problems, right? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> because I have not looked into that, right? So, uh huh. Um, since you bring up the question, since we put up the question, then then we dive into uh, the sequence of you know of causes and reasons and the source of the problem, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, once you identify that. The problems resolve themselves, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, the U.S. complaining about, you know, China influences in that region, um, you know, South, uh, South China Sea region. Hey, you know, um, I, I mean, China belongs in that region, right? So, mm-hmm. in, in the American ships and the British ships and the other ships, they go there, right? So if you have a Chinese ship going to the Gulf of Mexico, the U.S. would, would declare war on China, right? Yeah. So it's a it's a funny double standard, right? So uh-huh. yeah, they don't want Chinese get too close, right? So yeah. well, China don't want to invade any country. They just want to them as customers, right? Would be better than what Japanese did in World War Two, right? They, they just want to take over the country, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in, in, in that area, right? So, mm-hmm. so, um, since we brought up Japan, any, uh, anything, um, related to Japan that's negative? Hay alguien, hay alguien que tenga algún, uh, algo sobre Japón que sea negativo? Si pueden escribir en el chat, por favor. Alguien que identifique algo negativo con Japón? Yes. Okay, you want to express that? Uh, yes, un momento, vamos a tomar a esta persona que ha dicho que sí que tenía algo negativo hacia Japón. Silvia, voy a abrir su sonido ahora. ¿Puede usted hablar, por favor? Silvia. Okay, I don't know if she can open her mic. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí. Okay. Hola, sí, ¿qué siente usted no, no. negativo Hola, acerca gracias. de Japón? Gracias. Sí, fíjate que yo siempre he sentido eso de que Japón se este, sienten superiores y nos ven a los, me, yo soy mexicana, o a los latinos como inferiores, como okay. este, no inteligentes. Ok, uh-huh. uh, Silvia es de México y she always felt like Japanese people think that they are superiors and they are better than Mexicans. Okay. Um, they actually, um, 
Well, it, it's really the opposite. Um, they, they feel inferior, um, especially um, the last couple hundred years. So they have not been resolved, and uh, and they have karma among themselves that uh, they just uh, Americans have karma uh, among themselves, and uh, and we will have to spend time in that. Uh, but let's deal with it. This um, perceiving Japanese acting superior. Um, so looking at the, the situation, um, there's the main reasons. The effect is, you know, is less than ten percent. So, so let's uh, ensure that uh, the land itself of Japan. Um, there's been, uh, you know, bombed out and all things like that. And, uh, there, there's, uh, the negative, uh, karma that's done to them and also they generate the karma to receive, um, what's done to them, um, in World War II. Okay. So, or even before that, the Russian war had not been resolved. The Japan-Russian war that um, we could resolve it quickly. Um, this that's beyond infinite uh, problems. Then, okay. So, so all we do is recognize that and delete it down to zero minus infinity beyond minus infinity, and. Uh, and actually, the U.S. wants Japan to be the main ally to uh, to control that region, not just China, but to control the region. So, so we want to make sure that the U.S. is not going to have a another Pacific engagement. Okay, I mean, like fighting a war. All right. Now the Middle East, you know, war calm down, and people in the U.S. When I look for new enemies, right? So, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, how does that person feel about the Japanese now? ¿Cómo te sientes ahora acerca de los japoneses? Igual o diferente? Diferente. Different. So she should be uh, open That's... eating. Should be open eating sushi now. <laughs> Estarías abierta a comer sushi ahora? Claro, por supuesto. Of course. <laughs> Gracias. <Okay. laughs> So at least we lighten up, right? But we don't think someone is putting us down, and and if it is, that is not the reason, right? So, mm-hmm. and um, that's why I encourage people to uh, come to our, our program. Uh, I'll pay for we, we pay people to um, you know keep this program running, and um, and actually, I'm the one that doesn't get paid. Okay, so <laughs> that's okay, right? So I don't need to get paid at my age, right? So um, I enjoy uh, sharing my approach to resolving things, and things have to be resolved. So we will process the things that we resolved in the previous meeting, like the weather and the climate and other things that we we connect with, and uh, but we're just going to reinforce that without verbalizing it. Verbalizing it is just to show that it could be resolved, right? And, um, and, and people bring up the problem, perceive the problem being resolved, right? We, we don't prompt them to accept it and, and be enthusiastic about what I said. You know, in fact, people are not enthusiastic what I say, right? So, or, or inspire what I said. You know, it's like, well, that's a joke. You right? no. mm-hmm. don't need any emotion involvement. It should be just strong without physical intelligence and activated. And we will solve, um, you know, the, the global problem or, or Earth's problem by connecting with the physical intelligence of planet Earth. So when we try to uh, bring our mental thinking to try to resolve the physical problem on planet Earth, we will make it worse, right? So it would be more argument. We have argument with planet Earth that we don't even know we, we have, right? So, so I just don't want to continue um, and get boring. Um, so we will meet uh, next week, right? So.
Thank you very and much, but you, you are not boring. I can feel everybody's paying attention to you. Well, that's nice. Um, they don't have to pay attention. They just have to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not going to school that the teacher, you know, kind of get upset or give you low grade if you, <laughs> you're not paying attention, right? So you get a high grade, just act like you're paying attention, right? <laughs> So, and that's why they get in, in the preference schools, right? So they make sure the the teacher gives the, the highest grade to, to the person that, uh, you know, at least act like they pay attention, right? That, that's really a, a good acting job, right? So anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. thank you so much. We're going to have fun with it. And, um, and we're going to increase the number of people that can come in. And, um, and that's how we're going to, you know, reach high numbers and, um, and, and able to change the planet, right? So changing the planet with a few hundred people is harder than if you have a million, right? So, or more, or a billion, right? So, so we have a billion people who could change the planet, right? And, um, no one has to, uh, you know, pay for things that they don't want to pay for and, and got emotionalized to, uh, out of fear to, uh, you know, pay for programs and uh, solutions. Uh, we have the solution. We, we're not those people just give you the facts, right? That doesn't apply to the situation. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Yu, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you.